Live from Oakland, California, this is Tecmo 101, a guide to the ins and outs of Tecmo Super Bowl. And now, here's your host, Jay Pinnacle. The Bears are who we thought they were. That's why we took the damn field. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Tecmo. That's right, it's officially Tecmo time, and tonight there is no curfew. What is Tecmo, you ask? Well, it's Tecmo Super Bowl. And what is Tecmo Super Bowl? It's a video game. It's a very cool video game involving NFL football. It was originally released by a company called Tecmo International, and it was the first football simulator of its kind for the NES. And in my opinion, and the opinion of many other people, it has never been equaled. Say what? Well, it certainly cannot be as good as Madden. Why, I play Madden all the time. It's fantastic. There's nothing better. Oh, how wrong you are. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. First of all, let me load up my save state. And I am currently running two teams right now. One is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and one is the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, remember, this game came out in 1991, so we're using the 1990 seasons. Uh, back in 1990, <clears throat> some of the dominant teams were the San Francisco 49ers, the New York Giants, the Buffalo Bills, and the Philadelphia Eagles. However, I have, uh, thanks to some very fine uh, people who mess around with computer programming, been able to kind of tweak the game and take all the players that were in the league that year and do a fantasy draft uh, to make the teams much more even. So essentially the guys you see playing for me will not be the people that were on those original teams. Uh, with that noted, let's go ahead and start the game. It looks like uh, Tampa Bay is up, and we're going to be playing my favorite team, the Chicago Bears. Let's go ahead and get this started, and we'll see what this is all about. <clears throat> okay, it's week two. we got the Bucks. Versus the Bears. And we're kicking off. So, here we go. You see, that's a pretty good kick. And this brings up the play screen. Okay, so, about the play screen. Uh, if you've never played Tecmo before, it's pretty easy to understand, provided you know how to read football schematics. Uh, we have a series of run plays here at the top four to pick from, and a series of passing plays here at the bottom that you can also select from. Uh, so, since I am on defense, the only thing I have to do is try and guess the play that the computer is going to pick. I'm going to go ahead and guess a passing play. In this case, I'm going to guess this one here because it is a commonly run play. Uh, if I guess the play, my defense will blitz, and I will likely sack the quarterback. I did not, <clears throat> and you can see they just ran Tom Rathman, uh, their fullback up the middle, for about two yards. Here we go again. I'm going to be linebacker Kevin Green, because he's probably the best player on my defense, and I just tackled Barry Sanders. Notice what I'm doing when I run Kevin Green. I'm going to try to find a way to do some instant replays for you guys. So I'm cutting through the line unblocked. Ooh, he got past me that time. Pretty good pick up there. I'm going to toggle through here so you can see what's going on. As you can see, you've got 11 guys on both sides of the field. Uh, it is really just like a, a true football simulation. In fact, I think somebody told me Tecmo was the first game ever made uh, where you can see all 11 players on both sides at the same time. Oh, he's wide open. Just got burned by Altoon. The great uh, wide receiver, played for the New York Jets back then, went to the University of Wisconsin. Uh, as my friend John says, quite simply, Al Toon is the goods. In fact, that is the nickname we have for him, Al the Goods Toon. Let's see if I can't stop him this time. <clears throat> and I got him right behind the line of scrimmage, second and 11. Uh, I'll try doing some different positions on defense here. I'm going to go ahead and be my strong safety, Carnell Lake, and drop into pass coverage. You can already see how fun this game is. Uh, the graphics, of course, are primitive, but I mean, in terms of playability, there's nothing that can touch this game for me. There's a reason I've been playing it for 15 or 20 years now. Uh, it's just 
fantastic. Uh, so here's a tip for you if you're into Tecmo uh, and you're wanting to learn more about it. If you choose the fourth defensive lineman from the top of the screen, you can often run in uh, between the center and the guard and sometimes block a field goal. Let's see if we can do that with this guy. <clears throat> Bam! Right out of the gate. So now you got to recover the fumble because they can run it back on you. Looks like I got it. And they outran me. But there we go. Block the field goal. Got the ball back. Uh, let's look at our options here. Now that you're on offense, there's a few things you can do. You can jump in and actually change players. So, for example, here's my quarterback, Mark Ripien. Probably known from the Washington Redskins. I think he won a Super Bowl for him in 1991. Uh, if I didn't like him, <clears throat> you see right here it says physical condition average. If he was in poor or bad condition, I would think about possibly changing him out for his backup, who in this case is the exceedingly mediocre Mike Tomzak. Um, but there's really no reason here to go with Tom Zach, and I'll explain why that is. Uh, just real quick for you people that have never played, uh, there's a series of abilities that every player in this game is rated on uh, that pertain to their position. Uh, when you get to quarterback, the most important things are these blue categories here, or at least three of them. Uh, passing speed, pass control, and avoid pass block. Uh, don't worry about accuracy of passing. It's completely meaningless in this game is truly a meaningless stat. So what you want, pass control is the most important. That ensures that the ball gets to where he wants it to go. Uh, passing speed is how fast it gets there. And avoid pass block basically means if the guy's in your face, how likely is he to complete the pass. Uh, also important for quarterbacks is maximum speed. Uh, just as it sounds, that is how fast he's able to run. Um, Buccaneers have one amazing player on their team right here. It's this guy, Bo Jackson. Whoops. Uh, as you can see, he has a maximum speed of 75. He is exceedingly dangerous in this game. If you know anything about Tech Mobile, you know that Bo is the man. Uh, I don't know why he's in there. Let's get Willie Galt back. Willie Galt's my wide receiver. Uh, Ex Chicago Bear. Also, tremendously fast. So, we have some real speed on this team. <laughs> Let's go ahead and run some plays. We're going to start by running Bo off tackle. This is one of the best runs here. Talk a little bit more about plays. You can see how fast he is, provided they don't guess my play. Picks up 10 yards like it was nothing. Uh, very often he can break a run as well. I'm going to try to do that this time. This becomes harder to do as the season progresses. There's a phenomenon known as Tecmo BS. Tecmo bullshit, if you will. Uh, whereas the more you play against the computer in season mode... Oh, they guessed at that time. All right, they're starting to pick runs here, so I'm going to go ahead and try to throw the ball. Uh, let's talk about play calling for a minute. Uh, there's a playbook option. Don't be alarmed if you don't see it in your copy, uh, whether you're playing the original Tecmo NES on a NES deck or you have a ROM like I do. Uh, again, this is something programmers have put in that allow you to change the play in the middle of a game, which is a fantastic feature that is not available in the original game, so don't trip if you don't see it there. Uh, the pass that I like to use quite a bit is this Pro, Team, Pro T screen L. Assume it's a Pro T formation with a screen. You see the halfback here runs a little screen. Uh, what makes this play exceedingly good is that if the computer picture play, it's relatively easy to get the ball off to the halfback because he sets up fast. Uh, this, this is good for avoiding a quarterback sack. Pete Holohan, good tight end. Going to try this second pass play here. Uh, it allows a couple different screens. See what we can do. And really what you always want to do is just look for the open receiver. It wasn't that open in that case, but it was a good pass by Rippon. And then we're on the board, 6 to nothing. If you've never seen this game played before, which I'm guessing won't be too many of you, but you can see right away it's just infinitely playable and infinitely fun. I uh, can't tell you the amount of great memories I have sitting around playing Super Tech Mobile with my friends. Just marathon season upon season. Hey. 
again, trying to pick the play that the computer guesses here. Really, it's all about just stopping the ball movement. That was a good play. Everett got it off to Rathman. If he had held on to, to it for a second longer, he probably would have been sacked, but he was able to get rid of it. Made me look like a fool. <clears throat> Up and running to the top. Barry Sanders, he's fast. I'm faster. Got him. See, with a running back tandem of uh, Rathman and Sanders, Chicago has one of the most formidable rushing attacks in this league that I made up. Okay, if you see what happened there, I got juked big time. Uh, this goes into something that has to do with the different ratings. I'm going to break it down for you when we get back on offense. But essentially, there's different uh, running backs have different speeds that they're measured on. One is called running speed, one is called maximum speed, and then there's something called rushing power. Uh, not only offensive players, but defensive players have to deal with this. And basically, it has to deal with how fast you go from your speed out of the gate to your maximum speed. And one thing that can really screw you over in this game, especially on defense, is if you stop for whatever reason you need to, you will then need to get back up to maximum speed. You can see too I have no tight end here. Everybody's playing off the line. Which means it's better get the ball off fast. Ooh, Ironhead Hayward. <clears throat> Popcorn time. You see what I did there? Let's break it down and I'll try to give you some insight because I don't just want this to be me calling the game while you people watch. I want to tell you exactly what it is what I'm doing. Craig Ironhead Hayward has a hitting power of 100 in this game. He's in good condition so his numbers have gone up slightly but this means you can hit as hard as any player in the game. Defenders in this game are also rated on hitting power and it does matter for the following reasons. If I'm going up against a guy who has a hitting power of 18 and my hitting power is 100, that means I can run right into him and as long, so long as he doesn't dive at me, I can knock him right off his feet. And in Tecmo terminology, that's called popcorning the player. So you can see this is a very good combo as well, uh, similar to what Chicago has. I have a halfback capable of near supersonic speed and a fullback with a plethora of hitting power. In fact, what I want to do to take advantage of this, I don't like these plays. Let me tell you why. Even though these are some of the best running plays Tecmo has to offer, you can see all three of these have a single back. Hayward's nowhere to be found in the backfield. He's near the line of scrimmage. Is he a receiver? No, he's a fullback. I want to take advantage of that. So even though this is probably my sing single favorite running play of all, the FB off-tackle L, Let's substitute it for something that gives me full black, full back, full. <laughs> pardon pardon the, uh, the terminology there. I want the full back to get in front of me and block for me. I believe this is the. I don't know. It's tough to say. I think this is the one that does it. Let's try it and see. Yep, that's what I want. Bingo. Deuces. Off to the races. Bo Jackson is unstoppable in this game. Don't you love seeing him on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, by the way? You know, they actually drafted, or were about to draft, Bo Jackson. Uh, Hugh Culverhouse, who was the uh, the owner of the Bucks at the time, actually sent a private plane to Auburn to go pick Bo Jackson up, just for an informal meeting, to let him know that they were going to draft him. And when Bo got back to Auburn... Uh, he was playing baseball for him at the time, and he was—he showed up for practice one day, and his coach said, uh, "Bo, you're not on the team anymore." Oh, fumble! And the reason was he wasn't on the team anymore is he had violated uh, NCAA sanctions, and uh, by having that meeting with Culverhouse, and as a result, he said, "I'm not going to play pro football." He went right into baseball for the Kansas City Royals, and didn't. Didn't get drafted until the Raiders a year or two after that by Al Davis and became an Oakland Raider for a short but glorious time. Watch this. Ow! Picked the wrong receiver. That was awful. That was absolutely awful. I meant to throw it up top and got carried away, probably because I was talking too much. So let me just play the game here. 
Damn it. I hate throwing interceptions. My, I hate that too. I'm going to go back and review what happened there, but essentially I got caught up amongst blockers with my player that I control and left it in the hands of my drones uh, and they were unable to do anything, which is often the case. Uh, computer controlled players or drones in this game are absolutely terrible and never seemingly do what you want them to do. They will dive all over the place. They will run at weird angles away from the guy that they're supposed to be trying to tackle. They'll fly all over the field and never really do anything that you want. So it's very important not to get caught up by a blocker or you you may well be screwed. Um, 13 seconds left. Okay, we have one opportunity here. and It's called chuck it into the end zone. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and take Willie Galt, my fastest receiver, and he's going to run a standard fly route into the end zone and you can tell by this little marker here I've got about 65 yards to go so I hope my blocking holds up I'm gonna try to form the infamous JJ shit okay there we go looks good looks good might not be long enough awesome I hope you all saw that that was a 70 yard touchdown throw I'll uh well, we go through halftime, I'll explain the JJ to you guys. JJ is Tecmo Nomenclature, uh, short for Jumping Jackass. And really what that means is when you see, when your quarterback chucks the ball up on a deep, you know, deep straight like that or whatever, uh, the receiver will jump in the air. Oftentimes it'll cut to a, uh, a cut screen of him making alligator arms flailing for the ball. Sometimes he'll come down with it, sometimes the uh, opposing defensive back will come down with it. So you never really know what you're going to get with a JJ, but in that case it worked to perfection. Epic 65-yard TD bomb. I'm not complaining. Now it's the bow show. The bow show. You can't stop them, folks. You can only try to contain them. Well, in that case they did stop me. What do you know? Try uh, try some weed blocking here for my man Ironhead Hayward. Nice. They got to me that time. They snuffed it out, those bastards. Overthrown. Now third and eight. I think most people would consider third and eight a passing down, but most people do not have Bo Jackson on their team. Henceforth, I shall run. Yes. Eat it. Eat it, Chicago. As I said before, you're probably sick of me hearing I'm sick of hearing me say it, Bo Jackson is just absolutely unstoppable in this game. Uh, Barry Sanders, the guy I'm going up against here, is no slouch either. Okay. <clears throat> Got him. Alright. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I covered this. Um, I'm always picking pass plays at least until I get into the red zone. And the reason being, if you pick a pass play and the guy runs against you, your defenders are probably going to be in a better position to stop him, specifically your secondary, than if you pick a run play and the team decides to pass. The reason being, if you pick a run, several of your, uh, your back seven are going to show blitz. Uh, which makes it easy pickings for the quarterback to just throw it over their heads and hit a wide open receiver. So I think about 80% of the time you want to pick pass plays. Wow. Wow. Rathman. See how he popcorned that guy? I think Rathman has 94 hitting power, so he just threw him off as though he was a cheap suit. It's not going to happen with Kevin Green. A little bit of trivia knowledge for you. Uh, my buddy and I, when we grew up as kids playing this game, had a nickname for Kevin Green. We called him Kevin Purple. Ooh, we almost had him that time. Could have used an interception there, but that's okay. Interceptions in this game can be hard to come by, particularly seasons against the computer. Oh, come on. Mm. 
I think the reason uh, Jim Everett's getting so many of these passes off, even though I'm blanketing him with my linebacker, is because he has pretty good passing speed, which can be be a good thing and a bad thing, depending on what you're trying to do. Good coverage, bad throw. All right, here we go again. I'm liking the secondary thing I'm going to play here. You saw what I'm trying to do there is make sure that every receiver that's open is covered by somebody. You're not going to be able to cover the entire field by yourself unless you're Wayne Haddix. Uh, he's a guy that actually plays for the Bears in this league. He is the fastest, best defensive back. He He's one of the few guys who probably can cover most of the field by himself. But if you're stuck with a lesser defensive back, nice. If you're stuck with a lesser defensive back, at some point you're going to have to give it up and let your drones try to cover some of these guys, uh, which is a dubious proposition at best. Try to do another JJ here. Always good to take a step back with your quarterback before you throw. Why? I don't know. And that's... There he is, folks, the legendary Wayne Haddix. Now, this is a glitch. You notice Haddix got the interception and then mysteriously jumped across the field. This is a known Tecmo glitch uh, that happens rarely, so it's kind of cool that it got caught on camera, even though it screwed me to the tune of about 50 yards. This game is not going as good as I had hoped, but... Again, probably because I'm talking while playing. Never a good sign. Pretty good uh, rush from the linebacker. Here's the thing. A lot of people will see you playing this game and say, Oh man, this game sucks. It's not as good as Madden. The graphics are nowhere near as good. How can you play this rubbish? Well, the reason being it's because of playability. Madden, while fun... I admit I play a bit of Madden. Some some years have definitely been better than others. Uh, it's a game that involves all your time, even just learning the different plays, uh, trying to figure out how to run plays, learning offenses, getting your audibles down, getting your stick control down. It's time-consuming as a mother. Whereas Tecmo, you play a couple of games and you're good to go. I uh, wouldn't... Oh, no, come on. There we go. I wouldn't put it on the level of of a sophisticated, you know, PS4 type football game because, you know, this was made back in 1990, but the way I see it, this is kind of like a guy's equivalent of, uh, I don't know, Candy Crush. Just a fun game that we guys can play whenever we want. Motherfucker! There goes the glitch again. This interception glitch is killing me. Uh, Wayne Haddix is a mad dog on the prowl. Uh, the reason you've never heard of him, if you follow pro football at all, is he only had one good season. Uh, but the season he did have for the Tampa Bay Bucks in 1990 that led to him being so good in this game, I think he had eight interceptions and returned like two or three of them to the house. So he's just an unstoppable beast in this game. And definitely a guy you want to you want on your team. Get him. Ah! Terrible. Terrible. Folks, this is not this is not a good thing here at all. I should be beating these guys by way more. Let's see if I can stop them here. The interceptions have been brutal in this game. Something you can do when trying to stop the run is, even though, I, as I said earlier, you don't ever want to rely on your drones, uh, you can... Position your defensive back to where he's standing around the drones. Oh, I picked their play. Oh, and they still got what? Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Barry Sanders is gifted. Yeah, it looks like we're all knotted up. This turned out to be a pretty good game after all. Uh, what I was saying really quickly, though, is uh, if you're trying to tackle a running back like Barry Sanders and you want to do it by yourself, chances are really good as you're trying to tackle him. Either he's going to run around you, or one of his uh, blockers is going to come up and just tap you and you'll go flying. Uh, therefore, it's always better to try to tackle an opposing player if some of your drones are standing around where you are. Screwed here. Make something out of nothing. Uh, I think we need to go back to the basics here. 
I think with a minute 14, most people would start throwing. I'm just going to run Bo Jackson because that's my bread and butter. You can also take advantage of timeouts in this game. Something I like to do. Really, I'd be happy with a field goal here. That's enough to get me the win, but I should always try for a touchdown. Yeah, I'm just going to keep running Bo because Bo knows. Tecmo. See if I can't get the TD here. Yes, there we go. And off to the races. And this isn't a dick move. I'm really just trying to run down the clock, but okay, it's kind of a dick move. <laughs> there he is, folks. The man, the myth, the legend. Bo freaking Jackson. You gotta love it. As you've seen from this game, a great defensive back like Wayne Haddix can, can really do damage to your passing game, but there's not much out there that can stop a, a motivated runner like Bo Jackson. Uh, so he's going to have enough time to return this. As long as he doesn't take it to the house, we're looking at a win. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed Tecmo 101. Uh, my name is Jay Pinnacle. I'm going to hopefully post some more of these videos for you. Toot sweet. Uh, real quick look at the stats right here. You can see Barry Sanders had a crazy day. 223 yards. Bo, 181 yards. You probably never see stats like that in the real NFL, but that's what makes Tecmo fun. Ripping, ripping through an, weird, through an embarrassing three interceptions. Had a pretty terrible day, but he did have the JJ to Willie Galt, so that was fun. And I hope you guys dig it. Post your comments below. And where is it? There it is. Peace. See you later.